Thank you for your word in 1 John 5, 14 says. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. This morning, high priest, I know that you hear me. This morning, the mediator of the new covenant, I know that you hear me this morning bishop of my soul lover of my soul emperor of the universe i know that you hear me i ask that your will be done in this prayer conference i ask that your will be enforced all throughout this environment i ask that your will and power be enforced where your children are watching from online from around nations of the world. Oh, high priest that sprinkled his blood, that shed his blood, that we may be saved, that we may be reconciled to God, Jehovah, the Almighty Father. I thank you because I know the blood is already, already working, working to be able to disannul the power of any other blood seeking for vengeance against me, against this ministry, and against your children who have joined online concerning this online prayer meeting that you have instituted every Monday morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 Nigerian time. My Lord and my God, I thank you that you had caused us to wake up this morning to see this day, Father, take absolute control. Take absolute control. Father, take absolute control, especially of the internet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. Oh my God, good morning to you all. Good morning. I see all of you. Good morning. My heart, my heart. <laughs> beats for you all and I say welcome I blow you a holy kiss <laughs> you all receive the holy kiss and a holy hug that you have been waiting so that we can take off on today's journey let's dive quickly into the manual for living and see what the Holy Ghost the high priest has for us today in Jesus powerful name I'm reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, 1 to 11, from the King James Version of the Bible. I see all of you. I see Uche, Uche Ojo. God bless you. I see all of you. I see Gift Gold. Good morning to you. You know, most times because of what we have to do, uh, I would not most often look at the screen to see the names of people who are keying in. But Uche Ojo and Gift Gold, I want to say God bless both of you mightily. And for all of you that I may not be able to, you know, read out your names, I say you are welcome. And from henceforth, God is going to do a new thing in your life and in your lives in Jesus powerful name so I read from the book of Hebrews 11 
from verse 1 to 11 and I read quickly it said now faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtained a good report through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous God testifying of his gifts and by it he being dead yet speaketh by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him by faith Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet moved with fear prepared an ark to the saying of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith oh my goodness by faith abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after uh, after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out not knowing whither he went he he went out not knowing whither he went verse 9 says by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob the heirs with him of the same promise and verse 10 says for he looked for a city which had foundations whose builder and maker is God and the last verse for this morning prayer meeting says true faith Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised hallelujah Woo. she judged him faithful who had promised oh my god saints of god i took time once again to go through the dictionary Marian dictionary as a matter of fact and it says and defining the word faith as a strong belief or trust in someone or something belief in the existence of God it further defines it as belief and trust in and loyalty loyalty in God and from what we have just read here, we see that the verse 1 of this chapter 11 of the book of Hebrews defines faith as the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Are we communicating? Evidence of things not seen. And when we read further down to verse 6, we will see it is written that without faith it is impossible to please him it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him hold on I'm trying to increase the volume I hope the volume is not low They must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So actually it is from this verse 6 that the theme of today's message comes from. And the theme of today that the Lord gave to me is why we need strong faith. I repeat, why we, you and I need strong faith. Faith. I repeat for the third time why we need strong faith 
we need strong faith, just like that verse 6 has said, that without faith, it is impossible to please who? To please God Almighty. Am I communicating? So faith is what is needed to upstage the mountainous, overwhelming obstacles in our lives. Am I communicating? And for us to develop strong faith, we need to understand that it is the one very essential prerequisite of a true believer in the miracle working power of God. Am I communicating? To do the extraordinary, the impossible in our lives. Let me repeat that again. Faith is the one essential, important prerequisite of a true believer in the miracle working power of God to do the extraordinary and the impossible in our lives. And this has to come with complete trust and loyalty to God. Because when you remember what the dictionary said, it said it is faith, believe, strong belief in someone or something. Absolutely strong faith, believe in loyalty and trust with confidence that God is able to do when you are loyal to someone you find that no matter what anyone says you are not moved you stay strong you stay faithful you are not shaken so we will realize that faith if we have to understand it it's not just about the substance of things hoped for, nor the evidence of things not seen. Because when we look at that, it means that we are talking about having hope, believing, looking forward to seeing something. But the faith I am talking about this morning is the fact that we need to have complete trust, have complete loyalty in the efficacious power of God to do the extraordinary and the impossible in our life. For the Bible tells us, like I've just said in that verse 6, that without faith it is impossible to please him. For he is a rewarder of them that diligently follow him. So you need to diligently, because when you are diligent, it means that you are so concerned, nothing can shake you, nothing can distract you. You close your ears, you close your mind, you close your eyes to everything that is called a distraction. And you focus, focus completely on God. That is why we need strong faith. It's not just about hoping on things that will come. It's also part of it, embedded in it. But it's the ability to remove all distractions. The ability not to allow any distractions. The ability not to entertain any distraction. Even if the distraction is going to come from your mother. Even if your father is going to tell you otherwise. You say, uh, get deep behind me, Satan. Even if your twin brother or twin sister is going to tell you, this part you are towing, I do not think it's going to be fruitful. You tell them, get thee behind me, Satan. Because I remember when the disciples of Jesus came to him. While he was having a conference, just like we're having a conference right now, the, 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 the disciples cited his mother at the door because the whole place was filled with a crowd of people. And they said to him, Master, thy mother is at the door. And Jesus replied, he said, he that is my mother, he that is my father, he that is my brother, he that is my sister, he that should be my brethren, meaning that whoever really is my mother is the one that will do the will of God. The one that is my brother or sister or brethren or husband or wife is the one that does the will of God. And that is the 
one that I will entertain. That is the one that I will listen to. That is the one that I will open the door onto. That is the one that I will pay attention to. So that is what faith is trying to tell us this morning. That your faith should show no respect to anyone, but respect to the Holy Spirit. Respect to God Almighty. Am I communicating here this morning? So faith is what we need. In this time and season, we need not just ordinary faith, but we need to build strong faith because it is strong faith that helps us to do the following. One, you will realize that having strong faith enables us to withstand the trials and tribulations that come our way because why? We have knowledge by the scripture, just like Jesus was speaking, he said, I come in the volume of the books. They have been written of me. So with the knowledge of the scripture, we understand that weeping may end on the night, but joy cometh in the morning. With knowledge of the scriptures, we understand that storm may come, but it will not last forever. It will surely become steel. Am I communicating here now? So the Bible also continues to let us know when we read and we have studied faith incisively he said strong faith enables us to be joyous <laughs> joyous to be a joyous while we are waiting am i communicating strong faith because when we look at the bible in that verse 11 the bible says that sarah <laughs> even though she was past the age of conception the past the age that is attributed to women to conceive the bible says she received strength to conceive and bear the promised child so when we have strong faith what does he do to us what does he do for us what does he do around us strong faith helps us to have joy while we are waiting it helps us not to complain. It helps us not to murmur. Just like the children of Israelites were murmuring when they came out of Egypt. When certain things were not in place, they began to complain. They began to murmur. Because murmuring is not of God. And when we have strong faith, another thing that it helps to do for us, it helps to show that our attitude while we are waiting determines how soon and how quick our blessings come onto us. Am I communicating? Am I communicating here? Our attitude while we are waiting determines how soon, how fast, and how quick our blessings will be given unto us. Am I communicating? So which means that strong faith also helps us to build our patience. Like the Bible says in that book of Hebrews, and we look at chapter 10, verse 36. He said, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Am I communicating? So you need to have patience. Faith helps you to have patience because without patience you will be murmuring you will be complaining and you will be murmuring and saying look at my mates they are all married look at my mates they all have children look at my mates they have finished building their houses look at my mates they have started working and I'm not working yet look at my mates they have built all manners of houses look at my mates they are all happily married but my own marriage is sour look at my mates they already have five children and I'm struggling to have number one. Look at my mates. Look at, they have traveled to nations of the world. I don't even have a visa. Look at my mates. They have all manners of factory and I cannot even boast of a plot of land. But when you have strong faith, you will know that it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy, and that after the fullness of time, he will make all things beautiful. Because you will understand by the books that yes, some people may have gone ahead of you. They have gone ahead of you to wait, to herald your coming. <laughs> they are there waiting for your arrival, to clap for you that you have made it, to witness your own celebration. When we have strong faith, brothers and sisters, 
it enables us <laughs> not to be troubled about prevailing political, economical, and societal conditions around us. Just like you and I are witnessing the COVID-19 that is hammering everybody left, right, and center in as much as it will not hammer us uh, as children of God. So when you have strong faith, you believe and you know that though <laughs> trouble may be around you, just like the Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, he said, you will walk through the fire, but the fire will not burn you. You will go through the waters. The waters will not swallow you. Am I communicating? So when you have strong faith, you will not be troubled with the prevailing political or governmental, societal, or economical conditions and situations that you find yourself. Just like when you look seriously in that book of Hebrews 11, when we look at 23, we see that the parents of Moses, they were not afraid of the commandment and the decree of the reigning king at the time. Because yes, the king had said, slaughter every male that was born. But the parents of Moses, when they saw that he was a good child, what did they do? They rather made a basket, put him in the basket, and they researched and found out that the daughter of Pharaoh, she goes to have a bath every time at that river, and they know that surely, since she didn't have a child, maybe God will touch her heart, and then she will hear the cry of the baby, and lo and behold, just like they had dreamed, just like they had faith, that nothing will happen to this goodly child, so it came to pass. Strong faith. <laughs> Strong faith. And at the end of the day, yes, the child that the government gave decree that anyone that belonged among the Hebrews must be killed. The same government, the same king, the same political leader in the name of Pharaoh was the one that trained the Hebrew child called Moses. So strong faith in God makes us know that God can even blindfold the mind of our enemies to do things for us to bless us. So ladies and gentlemen, when it also comes to me, you all know that I was a lone parent who had a child that had the sickle cell anemia. But by the grace of God, by wisdom and knowledge, I researched and I began to find out all things that had to do with organic medication and organic foods. And I began to take care of my child. And my child grew to six foot four. He was wearing the shoe size 47. He was so tall and so handsome that nobody believed that he had sickle cell anemia. By the grace of God, I nurtured him. I took care of him. But... By the oversight or undersight, if I want to use the word, of the medical, you know, personnel due to medical negligence, you know, instead of the hematology specialist to carry out the blood transfusion that they said that they wanted to, you know, you know, carry out on my son, they rather assigned a student, you know, doctor to carry out this transfusion, which is not right. And unfortunately, my son died because, uh, you know, an, an, an untrained, inexperienced medical student carried out, uh, you know, an, an experiment or a transfusion that should have been done by professionals. And that's how I lost my only child. So ladies and gentlemen, if I did not have strong faith, I'm sure... <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here preaching to you all today. I wouldn't be sitting here looking all so beautiful and elegant. I wouldn't be sitting here looking all so, all so blessed and glorified, all so graced, all so filled with the power of God. So to you that is watching me, to you that will listen to this video, you also will have strong faith that no matter the trials and tribulation that the enemy throws at you, you will not go down. Rather, that overwhelming mountainous issue will go down. Join me and say, my father, my fighter, according to your word in Hebrews 3.19, which says, so we see that they could not enter 
in because of their unbelief. Say, my father, my fighter, ah, do not allow my unbelief not to, not to allow me to be blessed. Do not allow my unbelief to stop blessings that you have apportioned to me to come my way this day and this week and all throughout the remaining days of this month, January 2021. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Say, my father, my fighter, Help my unbelief so that my faith will not fail in Jesus' powerful name. Open your mouth and say, my father, my fighter. Help my faith to become strong. That no matter the overwhelming mountainous issue that comes my way, I will not give up. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer like a wounded lion. Say, my father, my fighter, I have come to understand that without faith, you will not be happy. Without faith, you cannot bless your children. Without faith, you will not reward those who are lily liver. Say, my father, my fighter, increase my faith. Increase my faith. Increase my faith in the face of prevailing circumstances around me today, all throughout this week, and all throughout the remaining days of this month, January 2021. In Jesus' powerful name. Amen and amen. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, stretch your hands if you can, but keep watching if you cannot stretch your hands. Let me make prophetic declarations over your destiny and over your life. For the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 10, 22, it said the blessings of the Lord, it maketh rich and he added no sorrow with it. This day and this week, as you go forth, may the blessings of God make rich and add no sorrow to you. May every blessing that you need, whether from your business, whether from your career, whether from your contract, you know, contract, I command them to come forth in the name of Jesus. I command the blessings that God has apportioned to you to locate your address in Jesus' powerful name. And when you have been blessed, <laughs> may that blessing not bring you sorrow in Jesus' name powerful name. And I also prophetically declare unto you, may the hands of your enemy uh, bless you this day, this week, and all through the remaining days of this month, January 2021. Just like Pharaoh uh, had to be the one to train Moses. May the hand of your enemies uh, bless you mightily this day. This week, in Jesus' powerful name, ladies and gentlemen, the hour has come. The one that you do not like to hear, <laughs> but you have to hear it. You know, the Bible tells me in the book of Hebrews, the same Hebrews, 9, 27, it says, it is appointed unto men once to die, <laughs> but after this, the judgment. <laughs> it is appointed unto unto men once to die but after this the judgment which means ladies and gentlemen if you have not given your life to God if you have not given your life to God if you drop dead now because some people think that they are just living and that after death no more life that's the lie of the devil the Bible tells us as you can see from that scripture after death then judgment. What are you going to be judged of? You are going to be judged of the things you have done. Just like the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 10 says, For we shall all come before the judgment seat of Christ, and we shall give account of whatever it is we have done in our body, whether it be good or whether it be bad. So whether you like it or not, don't let anybody deceive you and you think that you can just live a carefree life. You think you can just do whatever you like. 
Everything you do, everything you say, every action that you put up, every thought in your heart, you will give account of it in the day of judgment. But this day, God is calling you. According to that, his word in Revelation 3.20. <laughs> he said, I am at the door, I am knocking. If anyone can hear me and open the door, I will come in. And I will sup with him and hear with me. So Jesus is at the door of your heart. Because the only way you can begin to live a life that is pleasing unto God. So that he can reward you as you diligently follow him. Is to come to Jesus, give your life to God. Because when you give your life to God, I have said it a thousand times, it doesn't stop you from dressing glamorously. Being born again does not stop you from eating the best of the food. As a matter of fact, the best of the food, the best of the cars, the best of the clothing, the best of the jewelry, the best of everything belongs to the children of God. Giving your life to God means that all the good things belong to you, but God does not want you to live unrighteously. God wants you to have the strength to overcome all the vices that will cause you to be condemned into eternal damnation. So God is calling you today. Give your life to him. Turn around. Because without giving your life to Jesus, you cannot have strong faith. And your strong faith can only be built up by strong studying of the word of God. So say this prayer after me. Jesus, I come to you. I am a sinner. I say that I am sorry. I acknowledge that you died for me. Let the blood that you poured on the cross of Calvary, let it wash me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet and make me worthy. That henceforth, I will live a life that is pleasing unto you. And Father, I also ask, that I have given my life to you all along. Today I rededicate it one more time. And above all, Father, I know that you are the only one that can help me to build strong faith as I study the scriptures. This I pray in Jesus' powerful name. If you have made that prayer, heaven is rejoicing over you. And as usual, I and the angels that surround me here will clap for you. I say, welcome to the body of Christ. Welcome. Join me as we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me, follow you, all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I love you, but you know that Jesus loves you so much more. Shalom. Until next Monday, by the mercies and grace of God, let's keep the date with destiny. 6 a.m. to 6.30 Nigerian time. For this online prayer meeting or prayer conference. I love you. Take care of yourself. Go forth into the city and take over the city. Just you know, this is the day of joy. A day of joy. A day of joy. This is the day of joy. A day of joy. A day of joy, this is the day of joy.